Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys my favorites in the month of May. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. Complexion products and I guess the biggest challenge is the heat and the humidity that is summer in Manila or the Philippines. So these have really become lifesavers for me, although I do rotate a lot of my other good products, but these have just really been hands down what I reached for the most just to keep everything at bay and not melting off my skin. Number one is the Dior Capture Total Dream Skin, worth every penny. I'm telling you guys, it just perfects the complexion and somehow manages to prolong the longevity of any product, even in most extreme temperatures or weathers. Two drugstore products that I thoroughly enjoyed this month. One is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in Warm W4 Natural Beige. This is how it looks. It's just very inexpensive, so when it's really hot and the tendency is for makeup to really melt or just wear out more quickly i don't really like using my more high-end or premium premium base or foundation products just because i know they're eventually not really going to stay that long so i find it just such a waste but this one is an absolute dream and this is from Boots number no. 7. It's their beautifully matte foundation. And I use mine in the shade Cool Beige. And what I like about this is, well, first of all, it's matte. And I'm not really a fan of matte foundations. But given the humidity and the heat of summer here, I've really been reaching for matte finishes. And this one has just been a inexpensive and beautiful to wear on a daily basis very close dupe to my makeup forever matte velvet plus which is a holy grail our first skincare or complexion is the rodiel dragon's blood hyaluronic tonic which is this one right here does amazing to tone the skin it is alcohol free it also for some reason sets makeup very very well and also when i use this i see the longevity of my makeup just prolonged so much more for skincare, I don't really have that much, but the Embryolisse Late Cream Cleanser, Foaming Cream Milk, Foaming Cream Milk Soap Free Cleanser. And this is how it looks. I've enjoyed using this, especially with my Clarisonic, which is what was recommended to me. And it's just an amazing squeaky clean face without the dryness or the tightness. Another one for complexion that I have really had to get into already are powder foundations. It is just that hot here that it's not enough to set with a loose powder, a translucent powder. This has been true love. It is another Laura Mercier complexion product. This is their foundation powder and it just is the most beautiful matte finish to the skin. And I've actually carried this with me on a daily basis. The MAC MSF in Light. This one I've been using just on my cheekbones as a highlighter because I don't really want to go into shimmery things given that naturally your skin already does that when it's too hot. So I keep everything to a matte and the MAC MSF in Light is just beautiful even for the brow bone or any places you want to highlight. For blush, it would have to be, and this has been my favorite for months now. It's my go-to, and almost on a daily basis, I would reach for it. It is the Hourglass Ambient Blush in Luminous Flush. I initially wanted Diffuse Light, but this just gives the most beautiful glow, pink glow to the skin, um, almost very similar to Dior's Rosy Glow, but for some reason, in the strong sun of Manila, this has just really looked amazing on my complexion. For concealer, so which is still kind of complexion, I didn't realize how much complexion products I have. The Chanel Creamy Conce Cream Corrector Perfection Concealer, number 30. Absolutely beautiful, definitely full coverage almost. I think full coverage, but doesn't look drying or matte. Beautiful for brightening the under eye, touching up if you have any foundation breakdown, and even for blemishes. So 
definitely and very functional and travel friendly so this is worth worth the price shadows there are two that are still loves and I think I've mentioned them before and still almost on a daily basis they are my go-to one is from Inglot this shimmer shade which I've actually put in this Laura Mercier palette because I don't have a case for it this is in 154 and it is just a beautiful shimmer for my skin tone that's how it looks for my eye tone I don't know if you guys will see that there you go it's this one right here it just opens and brightens up my eye without looking too white or silvery and still the Dior mono shadow in Panama is definitely my go-to I don't have it on right now but I mean just move over Nars Galapagos this is the daily wearable more luxurious version of Nars Galapagos loved it's a very old brush from Shiseido and this is how it looks it looks very dinged up with tape here but it is very soft it's not too dense so if you just want a little blush on the cheeks I've really been reaching for this a lot for nails it would have to be by Essie it is topless and barefoot polish it's been extremely a nude kind of nail polish month for me and then for I guess miscellaneous this is the solid blender cleanser from beauty blender even on brushes this solid soap cleanser is absolutely amazing i mean just forget the liquid beauty blender even for the beauty blender itself this one cleans the beauty blender so much better and at the same time it is compact it is much cleaner and more travel friendly for lips, it really, I, I always do have a, a couple that I rotate and these are the ones that I have been this month. One is from Revlon. It's their Super Lustrous Lipstick Cream Finish in 415 Pink in the Afternoon. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me right now, but I did show it in my previous video of my product addict lip tag. So these are the ones that I will be mentioning for this month. One is from MAC. It is their Patent Polish Lip Pencil in Kittenish, which I suppose is like the Clinique Chubby Sticks. And this is how it looks. This is how it looks. I've been going for a lot of very brighter colors or pinks. There are three lip gloss products that I have. One is the Dior Collagen Active Lip Maximizer, which has, it's always been a love, but for some reason this past month, I've just been reaching for it constantly. The Dior Lip Polish in 002. Absolutely beautiful on a daily basis on its own or on top of nude lipsticks. And this is a new one, and I've really been enjoying it. I even purchased another shade. It's from Laura Mercier. It's their Lip Glazes. This one is in Pink Pop. And absolutely gorgeous. That's how it looks. So I believe that is about it. Those were my favorites in the month of May. I hope you guys found that interesting and informative. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.